<laughs> Hi everyone, good afternoon to all our friends, of course, from the press. Thank you very much for being with us today. I am your Miss Earth 2015 and I'm very, very happy to be here tonight, fresh from Vietnam, straight from the airport. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's five more days before the big day, the grand coronation of Miss Earth. Um, uh, it, of course, it promises another spectacular show with 85 beautiful and, com and competitive delegates vying for the crown. And to make the 19th edition, yes, you heard that right, we're 19 years old now. 19th edition of Miss Earth, more memorable carousel productions invited a very special guest performer who's very much delighted to be part of the show once more. I said once more because we already got to experience how awesome she was two years ago. And of course, she's a certified certified Billboard chart hit maker and a Grammy nominated singer and songwriter. Same with me, Fresh, from her receiving Harper's Bazaar Vietnam Icon Award for Music. Let's all welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pride that we welcome the international R&B sensation, Chantel. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, welcome, babe. I call her. I'm feeling close now. <laughs> We've been together for what, like six days straight now, and it's been awesome. I know. <laughs> Please have a seat. Maybe you want to say something to our friends from the press. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be back here in Manila. <laughs> That's true, because yeah. Chantel is with us actually on the 17th edition of Miss Earth. Yes. Yes, correct. And now she's back. So there you go, guys, if you have any questions. Oh, well, message first. Message first, Dave. Message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what message? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have anything more to say. like. Uh, not really, but if anybody wants to ask me anything, I'm, that's what I'm here for. There we go. We have a question right there. Yes. Yeah, from Manila Times. Uh, besides the advocacies of the candidates, what characteristics, characteristics are you looking for in a winner? Uh, well, the pageant is called Miss Earth. Yes. So honestly, obviously by the time you get to the finals, everyone's beautiful. You know, so for me, I really tend to look at the person who seems to me like they most genuinely uh, care about the environment and they are on a mission to actually do something about it. So the candidate that convinces me the best that that's really what they're here for, that's that's the one that I usually lean towards. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, please. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, my question is, uh, you've been here 2017, right? And according to a reliable source, you sang one song during that uh, that year and now she told me that you'll be singing two songs yes that's true and that includes t-shirt uh, should i tell them what i'm actually gonna perform <laughs> my name is a surprise i know i might i might do i might surprise you guys and do a new song i don't know yet but okay. but it's not to not to make a pun but it's impossible for me to hit a stage yeah. and not perform impossible like everybody always requests that so i'm probably definitely gonna uh perform impossible but i'm gonna keep the second song a secret for now oh. <laughs> everybody has to tune into the pattern <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. hello welcome back to the Philippines. thank you okay anyway uh, why did you choose r and at your music genre I don't know if I chose R and B. I think it chose me. Oh. Yeah, because because um, I get. I mean, I grew up on all types of music. Being from Barbados, like you know, I also listened to like a lot of reggae. So I grew up on a lot of Bob Marley, but I also grew up on pop music. And I don't know. It's sort of like I write all types of music, but R and B is like just where I ended up for some reason, and it's one of my favorite styles of music. Can you tell us uh, how will you able to penetrate the mainstream? That's a that's really tricky. Sometimes I just feel like it was destined for me because it always was a dream of mine, 
and it was something that seemed like it could never happen when you come from a small island like Barbados, so far away. Um, but I guess I just always believed in myself, and I just always gave it my mm -hmm. all, and I tried to put myself around other people that I could see that were already in the industry, and I just tried to learn as much as I can, and just figure out how to gradually maneuver <laughs> my way in, and until you're next to the right person, and then that person gives you the opportunity. Okay, so that's pretty much what that is. Are uh, you are born and raised in Barbados? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us uh, the normal uh, daily life? It's in an island, right? <laughs> yeah, it's an okay. island. So I, daily life is probably not that different from daily life here in the Philippines because it's tropical, you know, so it's always sunny and beautiful. We have lots of <coughs> coconut trees and palm trees too. And everybody enjoys going to the beach a lot. Um, but typical day, everybody goes to work, everybody goes to school. You know, Sundays, like, church is like a big deal in Barbados. It's like, forget about it. Sunday is for church and oldie goldies, old old music <laughs> and karaoke. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's kind of like what living in Barbados is like. Lots of seafood, we eat lots of fish. Yeah. Thank you, Shanda. You're welcome. Yeah, that sounds like home. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Hello, Shanda. Hello. I'm Tavares from Tempo. Big question. This is your second time to visit the Philippines. Yes. So, what do you most love about our country? To be honest, I mean, it's, it's the people, like, any place I go that reminds me a lot of home, I fall in love with. And like I said before, like, the Philippines, honestly, so much about it reminds me of home. Because, like, I was telling Angelia, I was saying, like, look, I love mangoes and I love coconuts, coconuts. and I love just like everything that's in Barbados is here too. So then being here, it makes me feel like it makes me feel like being home away from home. You know, like you look around, it's it's almost the same, like the same kind of scenery, the same kind of trees, the same fruit. Like it's very similar. So I really really love it. Okay, here. thank you. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, I forgot to introduce myself. That's I'm good. Ross Del Rosario from What's Up, Filipinas. What's up, Ross? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, uh, earlier I was interviewing Ms. Lorraine, mm -hmm. and she told me she chose you as one of the performers, as well as a judge, because you had that um, you had that relevant, um, probably it's an advocacy that uh, is uh, related to or matches with that of Ms. Earth. Could you share it to us? What could that be? <laughs> I think I think that Lorraine recognizes that I actually really like some of my friends make fun of me and say like Chantal, you're such a tree hugger. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> like I get really, really angry when I see people disrespecting the planet. You know, I I get really upset when I see like pollution, when I see people just throwing trash anywhere. I get I get really angry every time I see a straw up a turtle's nose in the ocean. You know, things like that. Because I really love animals and I love nature. So, like I said, any initiative or any movement that is geared towards improving conditions on Earth so that we can live cleaner and better, I'm always down for and I think that she recognized that is genuine for me and so you know it makes sense for me to be a part of something like this earth. How do you get angry? Uh, do you laugh <laughs> on social media? I throw things <laughs> and throw I scream. <laughs> no, actually like I, I cry. I cry. When I get angry, yeah, yeah like so you, you get know, emotional. So you just, yeah, like I get really emotional and I just like cry and so do you keep it to turn yourself? the TV off. <laughs> you keep it to yourself or are you Get no, if you look at my Instagram, you can see, like, you'll see posts of me, you know, representing for the environment and for the animals and stuff, and I, I'm mm -hmm. very vocal about, you know, my frustrations about how some some humans treat the earth. Well, Miss Earth is very lucky to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>